Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tarmac Talking. This time we are getting a very light episode, a supersonic one on ABS. ABS is a high speed expendable aerial target heat being developed by DRDO. As all of you know world over, armed forces use these kind of drone targets for engaging their weapons, the existing weapon systems and also weapon systems that are being developed. So if you take the case of India, Indian armed forces traditionally over the years has been using an imported drone target uh, called uh, Jet Banshee, uh, a UK based company uh, and for the last 10 years it has been widely used. Now DRDO has come up with this Desi drone target for their existing weapons of Indian Armed Forces and also new systems let be it the QRSAMs, Astra, whatever to test. As all of you know um, recently ABS had a very successful trial at ITR Chandipur. It flew for roughly around 32 minutes and uh, 20 uh, waypoint navigation points it is crossed and very very different patterns uh, you know apparently uh, it has exhibited during that particular trial. There are different kinds of uh, patterns uh, the race course pattern and uh, there is a, a pattern of eight uh, and so apparently the this race course pattern is very popular and uh, you could engage your weapons uh, during one of these uh, patterns. So it is a very successful mission. It was a textbook kind of launch uh, of ABS. Next interesting point I would want to emphasize on ABS is from 2013. It is in 2013 that this program uh, took birth and just around five, six uh, DRDO scientists were part of it. A uh, lot of quiet work, a lot of hard work, a lot of challenges have gone over the years. So in the last four or five years, the biggest challenge for the scientists were to miniaturize a lot of systems on ABS. It is a huge challenge. They have successfully come out of it. You know, everything on this particular thing had to be miniaturized. Roughly, ABS, you know, weighs around 70 kg. The live drone uh, roughly weighs around 70 kg. And all you need is just two people to carry it get on to the launcher that's again being made by DRDO. If you look at the system, uh, the engine is just around 2 kgs, you know, and uh, um, you know, even the horizontal and the vertical tails, what you see at the behind is just around again 200 grams, I'm being told. As, it, as I told you, 70 kg is overall weight of this, uh, this target drone. The, the wing, the main wing uh, is around 3 kgs. And the payload, that's very interesting. The payload consists of, let's say, uh, the fight uh, control computer. Uh, that's around um, uh, 500 gram. MINX, MINX is again uh, the MEMS based inertial navigation system. That's around 200 gram. There is you know, very interesting system called uh, acoustic mist distance indicator, AMDI. That weighs around roughly around half a kg. So the biggest weight, the in the sense, uh, 25 liters is a fuel tank, so that is the bulk of the weight of this. The system is the fuel tank. So, all put together, a lot of things have been miniaturized in um, this, uh, you know, expendable aerial target. Uh, that makes uh, the the system different. So, let's now look at some of the salient features of ABS. I have made uh, some few points, so let me just uh, read it through uh, for your benefit. Uh, you know, it's a high-speed expendable aerial target uh, heat. Abiyas uh, can fly up to a uh, maximum height of uh, 5 kilometers and its endurance is roughly around uh, 45 minutes and uh, can reach up to maximum speeds of 180 uh, meter per second. So during the last trial, uh, you know, uh, it uh, flew uh, at a speed of 0.4 Mach and so it can go up to 0.7 Mach subsonic speeds and the weight we have already said uh, it's around 70 kgs modular construction so that means you know uh, you know need to integrate only the fuselage and wing prior to the launch 
and it can be easily handled by uh, three to five people, uh, even two, uh, you know, uh, if it comes to worst places, autopilot, uh, and uh, you know, it is, uh, you know, it's indigenously built. Uh, many features are embedded into this particular system, and uh, it has a laptop-based uh, ground control system, very simple launcher, easy to handle. It also has the potential to be converted into a decoy and it has got a MEMS-based uh, navigation system. These are the roughly some of the features of ABS. So finally, uh, what's the road ahead for this DESI uh, drone target? DRDO uh, scientists are very confident that, you know, based on the... There was initially, there were some setbacks, but that's part and parcel of any developmental program. But with the kind of success they have achieved in the last trial, they're very confident of the next trial uh, where you will also have the users uh, uh, will be also present there. So basically, uh, they are concurrently now moving ahead in, uh, you know, in terms of making this in large numbers. The industry has to come and uh, get the, you know, uh, the, the import uh, of these kind of systems needs to be reduced. So Abhyas is the answer for that. The industry will benefit as always. When you make in India, the cost comes down. India will benefit. So that's the kind of confidence the DRDO scientists are showing with this uh, with this program. So before we sign off, uh, would want to just bring your attention to one very key factor that you know, uh, Tarmac Talking has received uh, very well from different audiences across the globe. A lot of people have written to us, called us and said the kind, the standards of the production, content, the research, everything been very, very uh, high. Uh, but we also need, uh, you know, support from like-minded people. We open to ideas, we open to collaborations with people who want to join hands with us to make really, really inspiring programs on India's aerospace and defense uh, sector. So that was tarmac talking, if I want to call it light, tarmac talking light. A very short uh, episode this time on Abhyas, uh, something which uh, the story is really, really inspiring. Inspiring because the fact that, um, uh, you know, just four or five scientists work behind it. Uh, they took their challenges, they took uh, the failures head on, only to come out successfully and uh, wishing uh, this ABS team of DRDO all the best. I hope all of you enjoyed this short Tarmac Talking episode. Thank you. Jai Hind.